Hello again everyone. In this video I'm going to show some of the origami models that I've made so far. As you know from my other videos, I don't use origami store-bought paper. I like to recycle scrap paper that I already have and it works just as well as origami paper and the models look just as nice. For instance, with this first model I have, the origami fireworks model, you've probably seen it on YouTube a lot but um, I use just regular old white paper to make it and you see it still pops open okay. this was probably one of the more complicated models that I've made and uh, at least it was to me. It took some time getting it all together, but I like it. It turned out pretty well for just white paper. Okay, in this next model, um, I've made a basic icosahedron. It's a. It was a pretty interesting model to make. I didn't think it would be so smooth across the surfaces, but. Um, it was really fun. This next model is my favorite. It's called the TUVWXYZ Star. As you turn it, you can see a six sided star of each color, no matter which way you turn it. It was the most complicated model to put together. It took the um, YouTube tutorial, which I'm going to link, and a separate website just to put this together. Because it starts off with just five colors, but once you get halfway across, um, you have to add in a sixth color. It was, it, it, it was pretty difficult. Okay, this model is a Mina Kusadama. It was, it was, it was actually really easy to make. I chose some bright colors just to liven it up a bit. The final um, origami model I have for you all today is probably one of the coolest that I've done. That um. I think it just goes to show that you don't need special pretty paper to do cool stuff with origami. Um, it's the famous origami twisting tower. As you can see, it's pretty long when it's, it's outstretched and it can collapse down. until it's flat like that. I like to think of it as like a leaning tower of Pisa. And um, I was thinking about turning it into like a, a sort of a lamp that would like hang, hang down. But this one was um, this one was kind of hard to get together just because everything has to fit if one piece is wrong it's it's just gonna fall apart and um, I chose to use white paper but I just flipped the sides of the paper so you could get some color onto it it's pretty sturdy too so I'll link a video to that and you all might like to try it. So I really want to thank everyone who has been watching the videos and giving me comments. I mainly make these videos for my family and friends who are interested in origami but don't know how to um how to how to start? They're they're pretty much beginners at origami, so 
If you do have any comments or suggestions or ideas or even um, models you'd like me to like to see me do, um, just send them to me as a um, either a comment or a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And enjoy. Remember, you don't need origami paper to make cool origami models.